So this video is going to be about Avogadro's law. And remember, we have four basic uh, properties of gases, pressure, volume, temperature, and amount of the gas. So what Avogadro's law says is if the pressure and the temperature of the gas are kept constant, uh, then the volume is directly proportional to the amount of the gas. So I'll return back to my uh, balloon example. As you inflate a balloon, as you blow more air into a balloon, the balloon expands because the more gas you know, particles that you're blowing into it uh, need to occupy a greater space. So it's, it's pretty um, intuitive. This is another one of those intuitive gas laws that's been known for a while. And uh, so let's see if we can't uh, derive the uh, equations that might be useful uh, on, on a problem. So, like I said, if the, uh, if the uh, pressure and the temperature of the gas are kept constant, so those two are constant, then the volume of the gas, V, is proportional to the amount of the gas, N. So I'm going to turn this proportionality into an equation and say that V is equal to a constant of proportionality, K, times N, the amount. Uh, divide both uh, sides of the equation by n, and you get that uh, v over n is equal to the constant k. So that means, like I said, as, as long as I keep the pressure and the temperature uh, constant, uh, if I have two different conditions with two different volumes and two different amounts, uh, the quotient of the volume to the amount is always going to be the same constant k. So, in other words, um, V1 over N1 is equal to V2 over N2. So let's do a problem, shall we? So uh, suppose I have a, uh, a gas and I have uh, 10,000 moles of this gas. And suppose the volume that this 10,000 moles of gas occupies is 6 liters. If I were to uh, change the amount um, of, of gas, uh, the amount of moles of gas, to let's say uh, 100,000 moles, so if I increase the amount to 100,000 moles, uh, what is going to be my uh, new volume? So first of all, we can just intuitively uh, reason that the volume should be uh, larger. It should expand because uh, volume and amount are uh, directly proportional. And since we're increasing the amount, then that should lead to an increase in the volume. So it definitely must be larger than 6 liters. We know that. So let's, uh, let's write down the relationship again. We have V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. So I'm going to, uh, we're looking for V2, so I'm going to divide both sides of this equation, or excuse me, I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by N2, and that'll lead to uh, V2 equals V1 N2 over N1. So now uh, all we have to do is just plug in the numbers. So we have V2 is equal to V1, that looks like 6 liters, times uh, N2, which is uh, 100,000 moles over uh, N1, which is 10,000 moles. And uh, 100,000 over 10,000, that's going to be 10. 10 times 6 is 60. Um, the moles cancel. This unit cancels. So we're left with nothing but liters. So that means that our uh, V2 is going to be 6 liters. Excuse me, 60 liters. So there you have it. There is Avogadro's Law.